So I did want to talk to you about making some things happen throughout the holiday season. Y'all, it is so hard. I mean, none of us are excused. None of us are the exception to this rule. It is tough to get in a workout. And this is coming from a trainer and an instructor. So I know it can be hard, but... I want to give you some tips so that you can succeed, so that you can just keep moving this holiday season. You don't have to have a traditional workout. So it can be something totally different than what you typically do. It can be something that is shorter in duration. It does not have to be your traditional gym workout. So if you are just now joining us, welcome to The Scope. I appreciate you guys hopping on. My name is Sarah Thomas. I am a fitness instructor, a personal trainer, a mom of three little ones, a fitness entrepreneur. Um, I teach classes. I run my own fitness business, and I am a fitness mentor, so I do lots of online boot camps and online personal training as well. So welcome to The Scope. Today, we are talking about tips that will help you stay moving throughout the holiday season and stay on track so come January we still feel good about ourselves and we are not feeling like that we're starting over. Okay, so here are a few tips for you. Tip number one is just to get up early. And this can be kind of daunting, I know, like your, your nights can be long, but getting up early can seem very overwhelming. Just try to get up about 10 minutes early. 10 minutes early, you can get in a quick strength training workout, just do a few core work, maybe something to get your body moving. And as a matter of fact, people that get up early in the morning to do something to get their body moving actually end up living longer. There are studies that show that people that get up early to move does not have to be hardcore workout, but just to move their body, they end up living longer. So that's a great tip for you. Get up a little earlier and do something because our bodies were made to move. Tip number two is to forego the gym and work out at home. Some of you may be gym rats. I was a gym rat years ago. Once I had kids, I started working out more and more at home because it was so convenient because I did not have to drive to the gym. I did not put, have to put them in childcare. I was just getting my workout done at home. Literally walked down to my basement 30 minutes and done. So that kind of goal is, goes along with the first tip. If you get up earlier and you do something at home, maybe it's just 10 minutes in the morning that you're going to do, and then you're going to do 10 minutes later on in the evening. You're getting something in. You don't have to worry about that extra step of going to the gym, packing your bag, etc. Tip number three for you is to do 10 minutes before and 10 minutes after. So I've already talked about this slightly. So if you are getting up early and you're doing that 10 minutes before and 10 minutes after, that's a 20 minute total workout. And that is plenty, y'all. If we are doing all these extra things as far as holidays go, gatherings, everything else that we have on our plate. So if you can get a 20 minute workout in at various times throughout your day, that is fabulous. That is much better than doing nothing at all, right? Tip number four is to power shop or park way away from wherever you are. So power shopping is, can be fun too. If you're walking quickly through the mall, if you know exactly where you need to go from point A to point B and you are briskly walking there, that burns calories. Those extra steps, getting your heart rate up just a few extra beats will help you stay on track as well. And parking away, we, you know, you've heard this before, but parking further and further away, not circling the parking lot to find that close parking spot, just park further away and walk on in. We could use those extra steps. All of us could use those extra steps this time of year. Another fun, these are the la this last one is really fun. So think about what you can do while you're watching TV. We sometimes watch more TV this time of year because one, it gets colder outside, and two, because there are fun Christmas programs on that we all enjoy. We all have our favorites that we like to watch with our family. So think of this. Think of ways that you can make it fun and active while you're watching your favorite shows. So if you're watching a movie and you know maybe the word Christmas is going to be in that movie various times throughout the movie, maybe every time you hear the word Christmas, you drop down with your family and everybody does five push-ups. That's a great way to get a little bit extra in. You're just hanging out with the family. Make it fun. Everybody can do it. So making a fun game with it while you're street training, maybe through commercials or maybe throughout your uh, 
your movie that you're watching also will be fun for all. So I hope these tips help you find some time, squeeze in some extra minutes throughout the holiday season to stay active because you know what? Come January, your body will Thank you. One more tip for you. As a matter of fact, I have a YouTube channel, and if you want to look at any of those circuit workouts, I have lots of really quick circuit workouts on my YouTube channel. So check them out if you're not quite sure what to do for a quick and effective workout this holiday season.